All right, guys, I've got another unboxing video and review for you today. This is a brand new guitar that I just got. As you can see, this box is, is pretty big, so I think it's going to be something pretty special. Now, this is from a, a brand called 10S Guitars, and I know a lot of people have been talking about this brand lately. A lot of other YouTubers you know, have, have gotten like custom guitars made from, uh, made by 10S, I should say. This is not a custom guitar. This is, from what I can tell, just kind of one of their standard production models. And it's pretty affordable. And judging from the pictures I saw, it looked really, really cool. It seemed like it was a, a pretty good value for the money. So I'm really excited to get into it and check it out. Now this video will be the unboxing as well as the demo and the review. So we'll go ahead and get it out of the box. I'll give you guys some nice close-up pictures. We'll talk about the specs and then we'll listen to how it sounds. But let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Okay, so like I said, this is a, this is a pretty big box. It's, uh, dare I say, a sort of um, metal style of guitar. Now, anytime I, uh, I open up a metal style guitar, I want to make sure I use the appropriate box opener for it. So I'll get out my, my trusty sword here. Honestly, I've been thinking about upgrading this, although this thing works really well. I've had a few requests from the comment section uh, for people uh, asking me to upgrade to like a, like a two-handed Claymore, something a little bit more substantial. All right, a few more cuts here. All right, I think that should do it. Okay, let's open this up, see what we got. Okay, so one thing I always like to check out is the packaging, right? And it's got, of course, a cardboard box on the outside, but it looks like they, they've packed it in some, uh, some nice thick foam on the inside. So that's always, it's always really nice, especially these days because things are taking longer to be shipped sometimes, and uh, you know, shipping has been a little inconsistent, so sometimes something might be you know, sitting in a truck for a few days, that kind of thing. It's always good when they go the extra mile with the packaging to keep it from getting damaged. All right, now it's a matter of opening up the styrofoam monolith. Let's get out the box cutter one more time and we'll just slice a piece of cheese off of this here. Ooh, I don't know about that. Actually, let me try the other side. There we go. There we go. Alright. Didn't know you need a physics degree to open this thing. Okay. Okay, now we got it. They really are enthusiastic with the styrofoam. There we go. All right, guys, so there's a little hint there. So one thing I'm really excited to check out in just a second here is the paint on this guitar because the description of this said it had like a black sparkle paint. All right, let me take this off. I will say this, they are serious about protecting this guitar. All right. Ooh, hey. Wow. All right, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that headstock. The paint is actually more of like a metallic charcoal. And then it's got these really cool sort of iridescent flakes in it. Now, aside from the finish and just the overall look of the guitar, I love this headstock. That's a really metal looking headstock. Uh, the other thing that really jumps out to me is how nice the fretboard and the frets are. The fretboard has a gloss finish on it, but it's not a, uh, it's not like a sticky gloss. It's like a smooth gloss, if that makes any sense. So it actually, it feels really comfortable. And also the, the frets are polished really, really nicely. So just this fretboard, just like bending and everything, the vibrato, it feels really smooth. All right, guys, so now that we've got it out of the box, let me change the cameras around and we will look at the guitar in a little bit more detail and we'll also talk about the specs here. Let's check it out. 
And we're back, just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and go over the, uh, the specs and features of this guitar just briefly because I want to get quickly into the playing demo for this guitar. I'm really excited to play it. Now, I know what you're thinking uh, right now. You're, you're thinking, Danzig, did you just cut your hair from the first part of the video? And yes, it's true. You're not seeing things, but it was a very traumatic experience for me, and I don't want to talk about it right now. All I can say is, mother, tell your children to never, ever cut their hair unless they get it stuck in the ceiling fan or something like that. Anyway, let's get back to the guitar here. So first of all, the body and neck is made out of mahogany. It's an ebony fret board with 24 jumbo frets, and it's got a 16-inch radius on the neck, so it's going to be a very flat fretboard. Now, also, something about the neck I want to mention, this is a, a beefy neck. I mean, it's it's really a handful. It's, it's girthy. It feels very less Paul-ish, and, you know, all that being said, I, I'm not saying that it's hard to play. It actually feels really, really comfortable, and the frets are finished really nicely, and the fret board has a beautiful sort of gloss finish on it. The whole thing looks beautiful, and it feels really slinky, but uh, the neck profile and just sort of the uh, the thickness of the neck, it's, it's pretty substantial. Now, regarding the pickups, I mean, if you look at these here, they look almost like a set of EMGs or active pickups, but that's actually not the case. These are passive pickups, so you don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. And these are these are Alnico 5 pickups, so I'm expecting them to be pretty high output. And we'll find out about that in a second when I plug this thing in. Down here, we've got some standard controls, a three-way toggle switch, one tone, and one volume. And then all the way down here on the other end of the guitar, we've got a nice set of Grover tuners. And, you know, the strap button here on the back of the body, which is going to help it balance really well. Also, guys, while we're on the back side here, look, look at this neck joint here. This is really smooth, really comfortable. And with the sparkle finish on this thing, the whole, the whole back of the guitar and the back of the neck looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my impressions of the guitar in just a second. But let's go ahead and get into the playing clips and sound samples. Now, real quick, guys. I want to mention, if you enjoy videos like this and content like this and checking out cool, affordable guitars and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and plug in this guitar and listen to how it sounds.
Okay guys, so let's now talk about the price of this guitar. So 10S guitars, they make some really cool stuff and something that's that's really cool about them is they make a really wide range of guitars. They make really affordable guitars and also very, very, you know, high-end expensive stuff as well. Uh, now this guitar is pretty, pretty modestly priced. I mean, this guitar goes for around $400 to $500. I've seen it, you know, sometimes I see them on sale. And, uh, you know, it seems like the, the standard price is right around 450 or 500 bucks. And for what you're getting, I mean, it's an all mahogany guitar with a set neck, 24 frets on a nice ebony fretboard, Grover tuners, and it's a unique finish even. That's a really solid price for a guitar like this. Now, another thing that I really like about this is actually the headstock on this guitar. Sometimes when companies are trying to sort of, you know, do their own shape for the headstock, do something that's unique. Sometimes they come up with something that's just really kind of dopey. But I love this. I mean, this is a big headstock, but it has a, it has a kind of a dangerous look to it, which fits the rest of the guitar. I mean, overall, I mean, this is like a big, powerful guitar that crushes the competition. It's sort of the monster truck of guitars. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, this body shape, with that headstock, this is this is pretty wicked here. Okay, now as far as the playability of this guitar, I gotta say, uh, my first impression was definitely a good one. I mean, the the fretboard is really, really, really well done. It's got this great polished look to it. It's a very uh, slippery, slinky kind of feel to it. The frets are done really nicely. Like I mentioned earlier, it's definitely a thicker neck, and sometimes I prefer thinner necks. But this this neck feels very very comfortable, and it's it sort of you know, with a 16-inch radius, very flat fretboard, it really lends itself to shredding and fast playing in general. Also, the pickups sound good. They're articulate, maybe a bit on the bright side. Uh, but if, if you wanted to put in another set of pickups, maybe something like Seymour Duncan Blackouts, right, which are active pickups, um, but they tend to have a, a darker tone, you could put in a set of pickups like that, and it wouldn't change the look of the guitar at all because it's got that same kind of blacked out look to it, which gives it a, a sinister vibe. But overall, I mean, this is a really fun guitar to play. The body balances well, the neck feels good, and with the Grover tuners, I mean, it, it stays dead on in tune. Okay, but again, I know 10S Guitars, it's, it's kind of a new brand, kind of an up-and-coming brand. So if there's anybody out there that owns this guitar or one of the other 10S Guitars, I would love to hear what you guys think of the guitar that you own. I mean, it's, it's really helpful for me and for everybody else watching. So if you have anything you'd like to share, go ahead and, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, guys, I'll put links where you can find this guitar and the other gear that I used, like I used my Fender GTX 100 amp for the demo. I'll put a link down in the video description for that as well. I will also put stuff down there for my instructional materials and my social media. All right, guys, but that's it for today. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.